Over the years, I've collected quite a selection of rulers for making clothes and I have grouped them into different aspects of clothes making and I'll be sharing that with you in this video. So if you're new to this channel, you're most definitely welcome because here we work together to demystify the making of clothes. And my name is Juliet Ezel of SoSoNatural.com. First things first, sewing pattern making. For making sewing patterns, I rely on these three rulers here. I know I have three of them, but the reason for that is that this one here is in inches. I, I prefer to work in inches, but there are certain jobs that I have to work in centimeters. And that's the reason why I have these ones. The first one was the very first that I bought very cheaply on, I think it was from an, a, a website. I think it was either AliExpress or something like that. But the lines are quite faint and I had to make have an upgrade. So my upgrade is this one here, which has darker lines. The one with the darker lines is my most recent purchase. And I reach for this ruler a lot, in addition to the inch ruler actually work in inches i learned how to make patterns in inches but most recently i've had to be using centimeters especially now that i have my sewing patterns on sale for people to purchase like i have basic sewing patterns for people to use to make other sewing patterns and that's on my website i'll leave the link in the description box below so this ruler here i use for making sewing patterns so this here in addition to this here, this one I would normally use to create perfect right angles. And when I have my perfect right angle done, I'll then use this ruler for extending lines. I'll use it to actually measure things out. And the great thing is it starts from zero in the middle and counts up to 12, I think, not up to 20. And from here again, down to 20. I would use this to add sewing pattern seam allowances i would use this i use this ruler for almost everything i also use it as a pattern weight i'll explain what i mean when i have this flat on a pattern on top of a piece of fabric that pattern piece and fabric won't really move around because this holds everything nice and flat also i use this ruler here this ruler here i use for adding sewing pattern seam allowances i use it for work when i work with patterns that have wider parts so when i want to make something wider i would normally reach for this one because it um it goes up to six inches but the other one goes up to about three inches so that's the reason why i use this i know this is a quilter's ruler because people who quilt need perfect right angles and this ruler is essential for that oh i also use my pattern master which is this ruler i use this sewing pattern as well for angles in addition to my protractor the protractor is the that's a traditional way to measure out angles but sometimes i also reach for my pattern master for angles because it has these angle lines that run through it i have these two rulers here which i use for armholes there are different types of armholes that can be created. Some are, you know, some are a bit more fitted and some are looser. I use them for my necklines as well because they're curved. I use them for, yeah, different types of necklines. I use them for any type of curve. These rulers I would use for that. Then I have my straight ruler, which, you know, we all need a straight ruler. And I have this ruler here, which is a hip curve. I do not really use my hip curve anymore because, I mean, the pattern master can create whatever you want it to create. But um, this was just one of those things that I thought I needed and I purchased it many years ago. So if you're out there and you're looking to buy yourself uh, <laughs> rulers for making patterns, don't waste time on a hip curve. Just get yourself a pattern master or anything similar to it. One of those wide rulers that have curves, straight lines, graduated lines on the inside to help you to extend things and remove and subtract things or make things narrower. Honestly, I won't really worry too much about getting a hip curve. That's just my opinion. I have this ruler here, which 
has caused quite a conversation in my comment section and this is a flexi ruler. I've actually been told that this flexi ruler can also be used for you know the, the curve that you have on a pair of trousers when you're creating trouser sewing patterns. This would actually give you the right seat. It's called a seat. So if you have this through your crutch, you'll be able to tell how long you want the crutch to extend for. And when I, I read that, I thought that's just so genius. So I will be keeping this. I won't be selling it anymore or giving it away. I'll keep this one here. But I have this ruler and I purchased it ages ago. Never really used it, but now that I've read that benefit of this ruler, I will be keeping it. There are other reasons why people use this ruler as well. But um, for that particular um, reason, I will be keeping my flexi ruler. So the next area is pattern hacking. When you have a sewing pattern that you want to change around, you draw lines to it, change things, cut things out, you need to add seam allowance. This is my go-to ruler for that because it's see-through <laughs> and you can see the different markings on the inside in order to add seam allowances perfectly. And the lines are not thick, so I just reach for this ruler here for my pattern hacking. But there's nothing stopping you from using your pattern master again. This ruler for adding seam allowance. The only reason why I reach for this one is because it's got the squares on the inside. So it goes in one direction and in the other direction. So that's just for me. I also use my smaller rulers for adding seam allowances when I do pattern hacking. For example, this ruler here, I would use as well as this ruler here or this ruler here. So all these rulers here are not necessarily important for making patterns or hacking patterns. You just need the one that has markings on the inside so you can add seam allowances as you go along the line. So please do not waste money buying all these different size rulers. They were just purchases that I collected. I just love stationery and that's the reason why I bought all these different rulers. So please don't waste your money. I've spent all that money so you don't have to. My next set of rulers are for adding mini seam allowances onto fabric. There are certain times where you want to add extra seam allowance onto a piece of fabric that's already cut out. I use these smaller rulers or, or if you are working on something but you want to but you want to see exactly the seam allowance whilst you're sewing so that you will sew along the correct line. I use these rulers here. This one here I got from Barbara. She's um, she's also called Rocking Stitch. She's got a website called Rocking Stitch and she has these rulers. These ones here are, this one's in centimeters and this one is in inches because I told you earlier I work in either centimeters or inches. So that's the reason why I have these rulers. I think I purchased the inch one and she gifted me the green um, centimeter one. I have this one here by my friend Jen. Jen also has this ruler here. It's um, Generates ruler. This one here is in centimeters, but I believe she has the inches ones as well. And these are perfect for adding seam allowances. These rulers are also perfect for, you know, marking corners when you are sewing. You know when you're sewing along a corner and you want to know exactly the point at which to do your pivoting? This ruler is ideal for that. This is just an extra one that I purchased during my, you know, <laughs> my days just buying and collecting stationery. Don't worry about buying these because um, I think rulers that have these different markings or different corners are ideal for marking seam allowance because like, this is a half inch mark. This one here is a quarter of an inch. This is here is a five eighths of an inch. So these are easier for marking seam allowances than these ones here. And I would use a pencil. I would use a chalk pencil for those types of tasks. I also use this ruler here. This ruler I would use for ironing. My next area is ironing rulers. I know I said ironing rulers, you weren't expecting that, but yes, these types of rulers are ideal for heat when you're working with heat, especially for hems. There are times where you can't be bothered to just mark your hem line using a chalk and a ruler. All you want to do is 
put this directly onto your fabric and fold your fabric exactly where you want it to end and you know mark out the correct hem allowance this I use for it's a prim one and it has the inches side and the centimeter side I believe does it go in centimeters and hit oh no this is just in centimeters but I do hope they have an inch one because yeah I think they would have an inch one but this here is in centimeters and it's worth having one of these actually I would recommend having these especially for beginners because when you're a beginner it's hard eyeballing centimeters and inches until you're a bit more experienced with those but um, when I'm right, working precisely and when I want absolute precision I would always use my ironing ruler this I call an ironing ruler, it's just a re regular ruler that I collected from, I think it was from a pencil case purchase, but I like it because it's wooden and um, I, it doesn't burn when I iron. So if I iron open a seam and I want it to sit flat, I'll put this directly over the seam um, to, to just trap in that heat and keep that seam open and flat. I would normally use this ruler for that, but there, there are specific and um, specialized equipment that are used for that type of thing. But if you have a flat ruler like this one here, I also use this ruler for that. When I do my pressing, I press open a seam, I'll just put a ruler over the seam to trap the heat in and keep the seam nice and open and flat. So if you don't want to spend money on <laughs> specialized equipments for iron if it's called a clapper then i'll use a press i'll just use a basic flat iron for doing that another one of those rulers are these here these ones are perfect for marking your hem as well they're called hem gauges and i have one of these for marking hems even though i don't really reach for them as much as i used to when i started sewing they're also perfect for marking buttonholes and for making sure that your buttonholes are evenly spread out so these are if you buy one of these it'll be useful for you or just these ones here now that I've shared my essential rulers, I would like to know what your essential rulers are. You can take a photo of them and tag me on your Instagram or on Facebook, just to give me an idea of what you have and what you always reach for. And in the meantime, I'll leave you with these videos here about my sewing tips and tricks, and I hope to see you over at those videos. Enjoy your day and all the very best. Take care. Bye.